Here he is, babe. <laughs> Mr. Mike, he's been suffering through the last few digs um, that we, he and I have gone on. We're out asking permissions again today, and uh, we got a permission to hunt another piece of property that uh, we thought might prove out well. We didn't well, think it was going to be this old. No, we didn't we had think. No idea. We thought maybe 40s. <laughs> yeah. We didn't think 1840s. 1840. 1848 large scent. Let's get in there and get up close and personal. Maybe we can see the date a little bit. That's the best looking large scent I've ever pulled with really? that much detail. Yeah, that's got, that's got a big liberty up there on the headband and everything else, yeah. huh? Okay. Great detail on the back. Outstanding dig, brother. Awesome. Congratulations, Thanks, man. man. Keep Thank smiling. <laughs> Keith K here. Um, yeah, we might be on a good property. Hey, look at, uh, I'm on a uh, beautiful Mercury Dime. My first silver of the year. I'm sorry, my first silver of the day. Um, looks like a 1923 Merc. And Mike just informed me he pulled, pulled up a Rosie. So he's got that large scent. He's got a Rosie. And uh, hey, let's keep on digging. <laughs> this is fun. We've only been here 20 minutes. Stand by. Keith Gay here. We're on the first piece of jewelry of the day. And uh, looks like a small child size silver ring. Uh, it rang up a silver. Until I clean it up, I'll know better. But uh, glad to have it. The hunt continues. Mike is still finding stuff. <laughs> I gotta get busy. Stand by. <laughs> hey, listen. We got Mike with a, another good find. He's been having a great day here. I seem to be digging all clad, but Mike, I think you got something very different. Yeah, it's very cool. Foreign silver. Foreign silver? 1895, 10 cent piece from the Netherlands. The Netherlands? The Netherlands. How does it get here? <laughs> no idea. Put it down here on that chump and I'll look at it. Clump, I'm sorry. Chump, clump. Just having that kind of day, people. Look at this. I'd say that's a beauty. I'll flip that over for you. Yeah, you please. Let's, let's show them the other side. For all my people who subscribe to me in the Netherlands. I don't think I have anybody over there. <laughs> I might. You never know. Anyhow, very cool find. Congratulations. Thank Mike. you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's all. Sometimes I have to laugh. On my second silver of the day, there it is. Beautiful Roosevelt dime and a nickel. I dug a 1233. I don't usually dig 33s, but Mike was t telling me that that uh, Netherlands coin came came in at that um, level. So I figured, what the hell? <laughs> so I dig a 33 and there's a silver. Stand by. Keith K here. Listen, uh, we never judge a book by its cover. And when we were out today, we were looking for a place, an old place, okay? Now, if you look at that book, the cover says 1950. I don't know. <laughs> it's not about what is there now. It's what was at this intersection on a country road long ago. And you can only imagine based on some of the coins we've pulled today, uh, had to be a pretty cool place to come. Listen, we're having a good time. We got a little a little longer to hunt, and we're happy we stopped here. That's right, happy we stopped here. Mike's happy, I know Mike's happy. That son of a standby. If it gets any hotter, people, we're gonna die. I'll give you a little briefing on that. <laughs> That little exhibit over there, but let's do Keith. He's got the ability to go to the dollar menu and order up. He's got a whole bunch of finds and a whole bunch of jack matter. Man, Jack, I hope you like that. <laughs> I bring it all home now. And then here we are, my two silvers, a Mercury Dime, Roosevelt Dime, and this piece of bling. If they get it clean, clean up, it'll be silver. Now we go over to my friend Mike. 
<laughs> I dug more clad than him, but he dug more silvers. So I guess we're digging the equal amount of coin. He's got, from what I can see, three Roosevelt dimes, three Mercury dimes, one Washington quarter, and that beautiful 1895 silver coin from the Netherlands. Awesome. Great digs, Mike. Oh, I forgot the coin of the day, people. <laughs> We're going to show it to you in one second. Mike is so happy with that coin. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Yeah. Look at this. Here we go. If it's not too bright, you can certainly see all that, pretty sure. And it reads what, Mike? 1848. 1848 in beautiful shape. Wow. Awesome dig, Mike. Thank you. I'm Great forward. day. Awesome. <laughs> I had to catch up at some point. You were killing me. Yeah, well, you, you caught up now. That's for sure. <laughs> Anyhow, again, uh, this actually wasn't knocking on a door. It was making a telephone call. And uh, knock yourself out, they said. We did. We knocked it out of the park. Stand by. Keith K here. Gonna give a quick wrap up um, of today's hunt. And I guess the first thing I wanna say is uh, sometimes you, you get on some property, you just never know. And this, uh, this property today surprised the hell out of both of us. Um, what was there is, is not what was there many years ago. And finding coins that dated back like that um, that was just incredible and we're glad we asked for the permission we're glad we got it and we had a great hunt I um, I didn't do as well as Mike but uh, and again I very seldom do as well as Mike sometimes I could beat him but most times not anyhow usual amount of clad uh, about three dollars worth down here got another car Jack Matter. Do you remember the, those those locks that go on windows? <laughs> That's cool. And one of the first digs was the Mercury Dime to give me the age. <clears throat> and that's uh, 1923. The next one, the Surprise uh, Silver. There it is. What's that say? 1962. And the ring. Now the ring... Um, I'll try to get inside it here. To in there it says, if you can see it, no, you can't see it. Um, anyhow, it's Mark Sterling, and it's, it's a pretty ring. It's out of shape, um, but uh, the the word Sterling means that um, it's an older ring. Bef uh, somewhere. I would say this this ring is um, early 70s or before. So anytime you see sterling, that's uh, usually an indication. But had a great hunt. Uh, Mike had an even better hunt. And we're going to keep knocking on doors. We're out there this summer uh, having a good time. And, <laughs> you know, you just never know. I wish I had that large scent, but... Hey, good for Mike. Thanks for watching Detecting the Berg, and uh, stand by.